Hello and welcome to another episode with the Autistic Angler. This evening I'm popping out to the entrance to Langston Harbour to East Knee Pier to try something out with my bottom line for the gars. So I'll see you down there. So I'm down on the East Knee Jetty and there's a couple of blokes at the end fishing. And I still didn't bring the rod I wanted to bring, never mind. I've got four rods with me. That should do. That's one with a real rod. The silver max, which was that one. And then we've got another little spinny rod. And I've got my HTO right. Let's try this combination first. So as I said, I'm trying something else out on the uh, the washing line rig. I was thinking about it and I thought I'd better come and try it. I haven't got a clue if there's any garfish around, but we'll just try what I was thinking about. Uh, let's see if I can remember what I was thinking about. I was going to. Yeah, that's right. Let's get the first rig out. So, what I decided, for this washing line rig, I'm going to put a float, I'm going to try anyway, put a float at e each end. I've got a heavier float at the, I'm going to put a heavier float at the other end and at this end I've got a lighter float. And I haven't got a clue if it's going to work. But you don't mean my stupid ideas. I do get them, don't I? Here's a big bad boy, I'm going to stick it at the end. I have a feeling the rig's going to be too long for the, uh, the, for the rod. Yeah, never mind. One, two, three, yeah, right. 
Oh, that's baked up. And then I'll show you the uh, what I'm tying. And I'm going to be putting on some some sliver, slivers from the uh, bottom of this mackerel. Should have brought my knife with me, but I didn't actually remember to bring it down. So I've just got some uh, scissors. Should do the job, should do the job. All I'm looking to get is some very small, skinny sort of baits. Three of them to start with. So these came a bit came off a bit chunky, so I'm gonna cut off a bit of the flesh. So basically it's gonna be the skin with a little bit on. Do that three times and put them on the hook. And then we'll have a go at casting this monster out. To see what happens with it. the hook on the skin side once through again and back out I reckon that might do it I can't chuck this out too too hard pretty obviously and I haven't actually tried fishing with this washing line rig before. Yeah, it's got to be worth a go. Like I say, even if they're not around, I want to have a go on them. Not on them, but have a go with this rig. See if it works. Ready for the summer. But I've heard they beat the garfish have been seen. On um, the South Bright Pier. So, here we go. The thoughts are, and I've got the, the wrong end with that idiot. Be with you in a second. So that needs to be down the other end. That's right. So the thoughts are it will sit a bit like this. So the, the the big float has got a heavier weight on and it goes straight down to the first bait and then the bait comes off at 90 degrees to the rest of the washing line. Like I say, I don't know if the uh, if it'll all hold together in cast, but we'll have a go. And I'm not going to be chucking it out hard to start with. I can see a bit of weed down there. There's always weed around. For the moment, let's move these other two mods down so that they're out, out the way. There we go, now I can see them. So they're both floating quite nicely, look. So I hope. Just gonna see if I can catch anything like that. My thoughts behind doing that, without the float at the front, it would be going up like that. That's what I thought. 
be going up like that. So with the float at each end, it'll hold the the, the line level. But that's my theory anyway. But I haven't got a clue if it's going to work. I quite like the way that sat out there actually. Just not sure if it's got any bait left on the hook, so I didn't see when I was casting if any of the bait came off. Using some feathers next. I'm just wetting the line on the uh, spinning rod. Now let's give it a good chop. Yeah, got to the end of the line. Those two floats are holding station at the moment. Which is a surprise. You alright, Owen? Good, mate. All right, Luke. All right. Right, I'm going to bring those floats in straight away and see if the baits are still there. And if they are, it gives us confidence. I can see one, two, three. Yeah, they're all there. So that's cool. So we can chuck that out again and leave it then. Right, chuck it right where there's a bit of weed. Is that weed going to go over the top of it? Depends how deep the weed is. You think? Yeah, I'll worry about that weed in a bit. So I'll put some baited feathers out on this one. Little bits of sand deal log. <laughs> there we go. So basically, I've got these uh, pollock lures that I use, and I've tipped them with little bits of sand deal. I like the idea of them floats, they're floating together quite nicely. Right, I'll have a chuck of the feathers. Is that your first fish, Luke? Mm -hmm. Is that your first fish? I'm doing a video. 
So I've had a, a little nibbly bite on the baited feathers, so I better check the bait. So the bait's been taken off all the hooks. I'm keeping it uh, straight up and down this time to keep some of them off the bottom. So yet again then, I'm fishing with three, three different ways. This one nearest has got some baited feathers. The one in the middle has got that uh, double float. And the one furthest is feathers. See if we can see that float again, it's maintaining station out there. It should be just about there. Let's just straighten the camera like that. So, it should be just about there somewhere. Glasses. Oh no, disaster, I just broke my last pair of glasses. But it's doing rather brilliantly. I like them too. Never mind, I'm having fun. So I just found a discarded bit line with a really sharp hook on it. So I've tied a twisted loop rig. I'll try it on the one with the baited feathers. And I'm gonna chuck a little chunk of mackerel on it. I found that swivel as well. I managed to retrieve this weight as well. It would be brilliant if I could catch something on it instead of weed. Don't know where it's worth chucking it, to be honest. Let's just give it a little chuck out and you never know your luck, do you? I can't believe how well that's doing. It's beginning to cool down a bit out here. So I put two rods away because it, the weeds got so bad with the tide coming through. So all I've got out at the moment is the float. And it's still working brilliantly. So here we go, it's a little bit longer than this rod, but it works brilliantly, look.
Hang on, there's a slight tangle up there. Where did I see that? That one there. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, if you look at back at my channel where I made this um, rig up, there's another couple of rigs like this, and there's one with a load of swivels on. That one tangled? Ah, no, it's not. You can chuck it out because the uh, the heavier weight goes first. Right, back on. Just as I was leaving the jetty, look, look what I found. Another weight with a set of sabikis on it. Somebody had just dumped it on the ground. So I still can't believe how well that uh, rig worked. I think next time I'll try the one with the swivels on. That's me done.